Welcome back everyone. My today's lesson is about polydactyly. Polydactyly is a condition in which a person is born with extra fingers or toes. There are several types of polydactyly. Uh, most often the extra digit grows next to the fifth finger or toe and polydactyly tends to run in families and it may also result from genetic mutations or environmental causes. Uh, when we see certain factors about uh, polydactyly, the right hand and the left foot are most commonly affected and hands are affected more often than the feet and the polydactyly is twice as common among men than uh, women. And polydactyly occurs in one in 1000 births in general population. Uh, when we see symptoms of polydactyly, polydactyly causes a person to have extra fingers or toes on one or both of their hands or feet and the extra digit or digits might be uh, complete and fully functional or it might be partially formed with some bones and it, it might be just a small mass of soft tissue or it might be called nabbing. Uh, when she's types of polydactyly, polydactyly most often occurs without other abnormalities and this is called isolated or non syndromic polydactyly and sometimes it is associated with another genetic conditions and this is called syndromic polydactyly. Uh, isolated polydactyly. Uh, in this case, there are three types of isolated polydactyly classified by the position of the extra uh, digit. Postaxial polydactyly, preaxial polydactyly, and the central polydactyly. Postaxial polydactyly occurs on the outside of the hand or foot uh, where the fifth digit is, and this is also called the ulnar side on the hand, and this is the most common type of polydactyly. Whereas preaxial polydactyly occurs on the inside of the hand or foot where the thumb or big toe is there and if it is on the hand this is called the radial side. And central polydactyly occurs in the middle digits of the hand or foot and it is the least common type. So as you see on the image, uh, preaxial or radial type is on the thumb side whereas the central one is found at the center and the postaxial or ulnar side is found at the uh, fifth uh, digit. Uh, the other is syndromic polydactyly. Syndromic polydactyly is much less common than isolated polydactyly and there are many rare syndromes associated with polydactyly including cognitive and developmental abnormalities and head and face malformations. And when we see certain syndromes that are associated with polydactyly, from this Down syndrome is one of them and the Down syndrome is strongly associated with double thumbs. The other is acrocephalo syndactyly. It involves early fusion of skull bones and syndactyly. The other syndromes are Carpenter syndrome, which involves a pointed head with polydactyly occurring in the fifth finger or the first or second toe. Uh, this is uh, a cranosinosotus with uh, polydactyly. And the other is Bardet Bidal syndrome, which is associated with polydactyly and syndactyly in the fingers and the toes. And also, this is it might associate, be associated with uh, renal abnormalities. And the short rib polydactyly involves a narrow thorax and the preaxial polydactyly. And triphalangeal thumb polydactyly syndrome involves hand and the foot malformation with both preaxial and the postaxial uh, polydactyly. Uh, when we see non familial case of isolated polydactyly, there are some evidences that environmental factors play a role in isolated polydactyly uh, that are not familial. This is found to occur more frequently in children of women with diabetes, children with lower birth weights, and children of lower birth order. And also children whose mothers had hyper respiratory tract infection in the first three months of pregnancy. And if the mother is uh, epileptic uh, during pregnancy. Uh, regarding treatment of polydactyly, it depends on how and where the extra digit is connected. Uh, whether it is on the hand or the foot. And uh, most extra digit is removed during the first uh, two years of life. Uh, because it allows the child to use their hands and also... Uh, to fit into the shoes if it is on the feet. Uh, if it is on the fifth digit side, in the past nabbings were usually just tied off, but this often left a uh, bump and uh, now surgery is preferred. The child will receive stitch to the close uh, wounds and the stitch dissolves uh, within two to four weeks. Uh, if it is on the thumb or on the big toe side, removal of an extra thumb might be complex and the remaining thumb must have an optimal angle and the shape to be functional. This might require some remodeling of the thumb involving the soft tissues, tendons, joints, and ligaments. 
and if the extra digit is on the central side uh, in this case surgery is usually more complex and they require remodeling of the hand to ensure it is uh, fully functional and it might require more than one surgery and the child might need to wear a cast for a few weeks after surgery uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel and also thank you for your attention